Samsung, the Freestyle Projector. So it's a mini projector, 1080p. It does have mini HDMI in. I think you can wireless cast from your phone as well, but I'll soon find out. It's also got a built-in speaker, but it does have Bluetooth to an external speaker. So you can Bluetooth your audio out of it to another device. Uh, it's 1080p, it says up to a 100 inch screen. Might try it and see if it goes bigger. Also, I understand there will be a portable pack or certain power banks are recommended to go with it. So you can take it out, camping or parties and whatever, and have a big screen on the go. So I'm gonna start off with the unboxing first, then I'm gonna test it in various scenarios. It's quite a nice package I've got here, if I do say so myself. It's nice and solid. So we've got the tape bits to cut first. Cool. cool. A quick bit of paper there. I'll throw distances so you can see on there. Little reference chart, 100 inch screen. Put it at 2.6 meters away to achieve that. Opposite end of the scale. If we want H, 30 inch screen. We can do that at 0.8 meters away. It's supposed to do automatic keystone in the side so it adjusts and gets the image nice and square. Okay, separate little bit, or does, is that supposed to pull out? Oh, there we go. That's the projector itself. Out of the way, a quick look at that. That is the unit itself. You can see it's got a little cap. Is it a cap on the top? No, it's not. Yes, it is. Protective film on the cap. Little cap comes off. We can see the projector lens itself and touch controls. Bit of protective film on there, so I'll just gently peel that off if I can. A little film off the top there. You can see we've got some touch sensitive controls. Get them in line. So we've got on and off, plus and minus, and I think that's some sort of casting bit or wireless to the phone. A couple of sensors there and there as well, and that is the actual lens. We can see the holes around it. I guess that's for the 360 sound. Also, microphone there, switch on or off. I guess that holds for the microphone. USB type C there for your power supply. Also mini HDMI input. Pretty cool. So looking at the bottom, we can see that 360 degree speaker through the grill there. Also peel that rubber, that rubber cover off. There are some contacts there. So I don't know if this will be for attaching to a sort of power based power, a, a sort of remote power pack or to connect to other devices and speakers and so on. But we can see we've got those locking bits there. Some people suggested for wall mounting, possibly, not sure. Could be for a wall mount attachment to attach to it more likely, or for a separate base to attach to it as well. For the rest of the box, bit of silica gel, do not eat. Little pack there. Okay, bit of paperwork there. It's more user manual. That is a five volt at three amp power supply. It's a nice hefty one, super fast charging. And also, we've got a USB type C to type C lead. So right angled, I guess right angled end could be on the actual unit itself. And we've got type C on that power supply there, so that can go in there. Flip that out. Obviously, that's a UK mains type. We've got a nice small remote here as well. Gonna open that out. Small rechargeable remote there. It's got power on and off, voice command button, cursors left, right, up, down, and enter. Back button, home button, play and pause, volume rocks up and down guessing in for mute and it could be channels rocking up and down or whatever other selection if you're going through photos and so on you can rock those up and down got quick access netflix samsung tv plus prime and disney plus little pull tab there pull the tab out 
that's the remote now active. It's got a USB Type-C input there to charge the remote up. Got the power supply plugged in, so I'll just plug it into the unit. I'm gonna press the touch button on the top. Point it at the wall. Now inserted a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter so I can connect my SkyQ mini box and PlayStation. One criticism I will make is you can see there where the power supply inserts there, it doesn't leave much room for the micro HDMI. So I've actually had to take a Stanley knife to it and shave some of that plastic off the side. And we can just see if I pop it in. It's just now got enough room there for clearance. There we go. So it's done a kind of auto keystone and righted itself. Made the image nice and straight. Made the image nice and straight. Okay, so into the setup. Says hi, hello. Now pairing the remote to the unit. Tells us their battery level on the remote as well. Two simple options, smartphone quick and easy or remote step by step. Bottom looks a bit out of focus, but I'm sure we can start that in a moment. So I'm going to go remote control step by step. Okay. So I think image size there while it's doing that, it's probably about 85 inch. So I'm going to say install the latest software now and I'll come back when it's complete. Sign into your Samsung account and get more apps. Project a setup summary shows me my network name there. Select the voice assistant to get what you want. So you can go Bixby and so on. I probably will I'll sign it into the shop general account and set up Bixby in a bit. So I'll just say later for now. Quick way to link your app. So like the TV, you've got Prime there. You can link it through your phone to your Amazon account. I put the projector onto a large white wall. I'll just get a quick Rough idea of the size of the screen. So I've got it at about 85 inches, and that's me for scale in the picture. So I've got it hooked up to my Sky Q box there in the background, just streaming the news in HD. I'll turn the sound up in a moment so we can hear the sound as well. Uh, sounds actually not bad, you can Bluetooth it to an external speaker if you wish to do so. So I'm just going to go to the menus, have a quick look there. So we've got oh, apps for more apps, Samsung TV+, Plus, Netflix, Prime Video, BBC iPlayer, ITV Hub, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, YouTube, all four, Samsung Health, Internet Browser, you can probably connect a wireless or Bluetooth keyboard to that as well, do some basic browsing on a big screen. Alexa, My5, Plex, whatever that is, and you can edit the list there. Obviously go to the App Store for more, gives you a quick summary of what's on now through TV Plus and stuff like that. New and trending, free movies, uh, Samsung TV Plus in full, popular on iPlayer, CBeebies and more below. Go to the left there, we've got ambient mode as well. We can have a look at some stuff from there. So you can put little messages up if it's somebody's birthday or anything like that. We can also do a bit of scenery, so I could go for a sort of field in a window. Let's have a look. Okay, so we can project a window onto there, back out of there. 
Oh, we can project a fireplace. Ooh, or some trippy stuff like prisms. People into mushrooms might like that, but anyway, out of there. And obviously you can put your own albums there. You can make your own sort of collage up, project your own album onto it with your own pictures. You can have little calendars with days and months. I'm just gonna come back out of there onto media. Okay, you can see there HDMI is my last source input through that make micro HDMI. I can also go down to the menu and to settings. So I can go all settings there. Keystones on auto, but you can fine tune that. So if it's a bit out of square, you can just square it up with your up and down or left and right. If it's not appearing square, it's because my camera's not at the right height, but it's pretty square to my eye. Backwards out of there. Also focus, I've got it to manual. It was on auto. Let's go on auto. That's actually not bad, but you can go on to manual and you can just fine tune how it's auto focused. Okay, just return to coming out of there. Okay, so back to normal TV in the background. I'll just turn the sound out and shut my mouth so we can hear the speaker. Weekend. Yesterday, it was northern parts of the UK that had the wettest of the weather. Today, as you can see from the radar picture, that rain has moved okay. southwards. And so it's a really nice afternoon, actually, to get out and about across parts of Scotland. Patchy clouds, sunny spells, just the odd shower. Brightening up for Northern Ireland. More cloud for England and Wales. Some rain in the south of England and at parts of southwest Wales to take us towards the end of the afternoon. Temperatures 12 for Cardiff and Plymouth, but 16, maybe 17 in Highland, Scotland. And then through this evening and tonight, that rain will slide away southwards. We will keep a lot of cloud, though. It'll turn quite misty and murky in places, but it is going to be a mild night. It'll stay frost-free, generally lows between 6 and 9 degrees. Bank holiday Monday, not too bad for getting out and about either, but there will be a lot of cloud. I think most places will be dry. Some rain to come in the week ahead, but not an awful lot. Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Chris Rogers. The headlines. Pressure mounts for radical reform of working practices in Westminster after MP Neil Parrish resigns for watching pornography in the House of Commons. Mm. The government's business secretary says while he is firmly against a windfall tax on oil and gas companies, the final decision over introducing such a policy lies with the Chancellor. Warnings of further increases to households on food prices as inflation takes hold in the UK with the cost of living hitting a 30-year high. 46 civilians arrive in Donetsk after being able to leave residential buildings next to the besieged steel plant in Mariupol. The Prince of Wales urges people to protect the nation's ancient trees in honour of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year. I'm Claire Bowes. Thanks for joining me here at the Science Museum in London for this edition of Witness History, bringing you important moments from the past as told by the people who were there. In this episode, we look back at five incredible stories from space. Okay, go. pretty cool. So just going to dip into the menu again and settings. Okay, also did miss out. We can scale the screen and move it about so let's have a look so I could shrink it down to 50% there for want a smaller image I can also move it around the area let's go back to full size so 85 inch screen again you can get up well it recommends up to 100 inch but I suppose you could move further and further back obviously further back you go less bright the image will be let's check out the retail demo I imagine astronomers have been dreaming since they were... Onto retail mode. ...some way to get rid of all these pesky clouds and... 
Hi, Bixby. Turn on the freestyle. Cool, pretty cool. Right, back to home mode. No, I got you. I got him. Okay, I'm the so you can cast from your phone using either SmartView on Samsung phones or casting from other Android. For Apple, it's got Apple AirPlay in there. But let's do an example from my phone. I don't know if nothing bad pops up. So SmartView. For the first time, an Afghan cosmonaut... Select the projector. The Soviet Union offers places on its space flights to friendly nations. An Afghan is to be next. Officials said the cosmonaut, Abdul Ahad Moman... OK, so onto my phone. I can go to my pictures, go portrait and whatever, and flick through. My van. You know, what else have I got? Or onto my dog at his first birthday party. <laughs> Took them all in portrait annoyingly. Or me at the boxing. Okay, bit of that. Terry Allen at the boxing. 
and a bit of Wembley. So I'll just end that for now. We'll get the gist. You could browse Facebook and annoy everyone if you really wanted to as well. Uh, or go onto YouTube pre phone and whatever else. But I'm just going to end that and go back. Okay, do a quick bit of football off YouTube, see what I've got. Okay, so I'm casting YouTube now from my phone to the projector, just for a bit of football content. Pretty cool. So I'll just end that there. I'm going to go on to the PS5 next. Okay, so on all settings at the bottom as well. If I go, keep going across, we've got a picture set up. I've just got it on standard, standard sound mode. So you can connect an external speaker there or your Bluetooth speaker. Also game mode. So when you go onto your games console, whichever it is, Xbox or PlayStation, flip it onto game mode just to cut down any lag and latency. Input device manager, subtitles, sleep timer, you could set a sleep timer, picture size, colour tones, auto picture clarity, low contrast in hand. Now connected my PS5. Just going to go quickly to all settings or settings and to game mode, make sure we've got game mode on. And out of there. EA Sports is in the game. All eyes on one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. Hello, a warm welcome to the western part of Germany. We find ourselves in the city of Niederkusen. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson and we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening it's Bayern Leverkusen and they take on Arsenal well thanks Derek these nights are always special and this shouldn't be any different everything is set up for a great game here I'm really looking forward to this one and this Champions League group stage contest commences He keeps going and a useful cross and the keeper able to hold on to it oh that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick Denied by the bar, back in play here. 
but have started the game really brightly and that was so close to taking the lead. Always difficult to predict. Oh, he could be in here, Derek. Mbappe's finish, his goal. And keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Pretty cool, just going to try a different game. Bit of GTA. Okay, so that's me and my character there on GTA. Rubbish weather. There's my vehicle. So, all in all, pretty cool toy. You can use it for various things, I suppose, like either casting your phone, watching TV from external devices, or the TV systems, the IPTV that's built in, all the apps in there, Netflix and Prime and whatever else. Uh, it is about 999 at the minute in the UK, this. But I think at the moment they're doing a promo of a case and a phone, so the phone may be worth 450 quid, so that takes the price down quite a bit. Imagine later on it, there'll be other promos to bring the price down as well. Uh, but connect your external devices. You can use external, well, certain external power banks with a high current output. So you can take it camping or on the move if you're messing about with your friends and so on. So all in all, pretty cool toy and a good bit of fun. Goodish.